there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Longster Born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now this one is gonna make up for no video yesterday because we've got two big big updates from F Telling in the Netherlands. Now we've got a positive and a negative. The positive is we've got a brand new uh, winter event or some kind of winter attraction uh, for this year. The negative is due to the finances, they've decided to put their expansion plans, the world of F Telling 2030 plans, on hold for now. Uh, so we've got all the information to share all about this and we're going to be sharing my thoughts on both things as well. So we're going to report about the uh, expansion plans first and then we're going to talk about this brand new winter attraction. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another theme park newsroom update. We're getting closer and closer every single day to two thousand subscribers and uh, you know I don't even upload a video every day now you know for the past few for the past week you know we've had two days no video then a video then we've had no day then this video so you know it's been tough because I've been working with the other channel got a lot of stuff coming on there now and uh, you know obviously with uni starting up again that's become a major priority and uh, that'll always be a major priority to me and um, you know it's hard to balance all three out but I'm managing successfully and still completing the work effectively on all three projects so Let's get started straight away and let's not waste any more time talking with you lot, even though I love talking with you lot, because you lot are just the best support I could wish for. So, let's get into talking about uh, the F-Telling expansion plans being put on hold, first of all, and then share my thoughts about it afterwards. So, both reports for both stories are from Parker Lebnis, the European news source, which I use a few times. And the quote is, the expanding now doesn't feel right. The result of a losses in the millions, F Telling is putting its expansion plans on hold for the time being. The F Telling Amusement Park was supposed to open its first new attraction in 2020 on the 8 hectare expansion area east of the park. But the state council has decided against approval of the world of F Telling 2030 due to the concerns of the citizens. The alternative plan provided for an expansion in small parts, but this too has now been postponed until further notice. Now, the general manager, Fons Jürgens, said to Brabant's Dagblad, which is a um, news source from, uh, from Europe, even if we should start soon, we couldn't do it. Even if the judge gives the green light next month, everyone will have to wait a while for the planned roller coaster. The money ran out for a while, he continued to say. As a result of the corona pandemic, f -Telling was forced to cut some jobs. Furthermore, investments in the millions were necessary to prepare the amusement park for opening in the midst of the pandemic. And for example, all waiting areas had to be fitted with partition walls, and some of them even had to be rerouted via temporary extensions. At the beginning of the crisis, f -Telling received more than 9 million euros in aid, mainly labour costs, and after the resumption of guest operations, however, the part was no longer entitled to any further support. As money was now being earned again, albeit considerably less than before because f -Telling only runs at 40% capacity. Now, Fonz said a cheaper, simpler version of the extension is out of the question, saying f -Telling is unworthy of less decoration. That's not really possible. Theming is part of us. It's precisely the type of decoration, the attention to detail, that makes the park something special. That can't go away because of Corona, and for that we'll be punished very severely, and rightly so, which is what he explained to the newspaper. The original plan was to reach the record level of 7 million visitors a year with the expansion, and thus to place itself as the top of the European League. Instead, all available means are now being used to maintain the park, but that does not mean a final end to the expansion plans. The plans have not been changed, although the money has now been used up, says the general manager, Fons Jürgens. So there we go. That is the story on the expansion plan. So it's very, very sad that these have been uh, postponed until further notice. Even the smaller option, the cheaper, so the smaller investment plan option has been postponed until further notice. Um, hopefully, you know, f hopefully that whole World of F-Telling 2030 can get, you know, reused as World of F-Telling 2040. And, um, you know, I really hope that these plans do get back on. Uh, track in a few years time if this pandemic ends and that's down to you lot that don't follow the rules You know out there in the UK in America in Europe anywhere if you follow the rules We can get through this a hell of a lot easier But that's my rant over. <laughs> it's, the sh it's the smallest rant ever, but back on topic F tellings plans They were really ambitious brand new roller coaster. I mean the latest we heard was it's not gonna have a circus theme if it did go ahead 
Um, I think this the coaster could still be in the works for like the long, long term future. Uh, but they're not going to go with the circus theme from what we understand. And, um, you know, they, they completely ruled that one out. So whatever theme they decide to go for, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. But that'll be long, long term future now, not short term future, unfortunately. Um, but F Telling, I'm sure, will get back on its feet. I'm sure they will be amongst the top European leagues. They're already in the top European leagues, in my opinion. They've got fantastic theming, beautiful storytelling with all their attractions, even the smallest to the biggest attractions. You know, from the kids' rides to the dive coaster. You know, the storytelling is beautiful and graceful and amazing. Um, but it, it's going to take some time, isn't it, for everyone to get back on their feet once it's all over. So um, it's fully understandable that postponing the plans now is what's needed to help put the extra money to maintaining the park rather than investing in new stuff. So it's about keeping it stable for now and then start thinking about investing in new things. Um, but to put a positive on today's video, we've got a new uh, winter stuff for, it, for this year, for 2020, from F Telling. So let's have a look at the details on Warm Winter Pleasure. So they have announced Warm Winter Pasture, not Pleasure, like I just said earlier. Uh, they've announced its new products and changes for the 2020 winter season. The Warm Winter Pasture Park area is being offered for the first time, but an attraction from previous years has to give way. Festive garlands, thousands of lights, and magically illuminated fairy tale forest. These are the well known ingredients for winter F telling. Between November 16th, 2020, and January 31st, 2021, they will bathe the largest amusement park in the Netherlands in a very special light. Ooh, clever wordplay. Uh, there are also be beaming faces among the roller coaster fans because, as long as weather permits, all F telling attractions are open except for Piranha, the wild water ride. The water coaster Devenge Hollander will also be in operation until January 3rd, 2021. The warm winter wide area is new, where visitors can enjoy winter snacks, hot drinks, and musical entertainment, just how we like it. At the main entrance, the Snow Princess and Fire Prince greet arriving visitors at a distance, of course, because of Corona, but measures continue to apply. Damn you, Corona. This year, a warm winter pasture is being created. In addition to bonfires and snow-covered fir trees, there are gastronomic offers and seating with sufficient space instead of the usual ice palace and cross-country ski run. During a week, a folk from the fairy tale forest performs winter songs and on the weekends, gospel singers create a good atmosphere. Musically, it is also in the Carousel Theatre, where during the Dutch Christmas holidays, Mr. and Mrs. Zeit from the international F-telling show Caro are on stage, and the water fountain show Aquanora forms an end of every F-telling day. With its fire and light effects, it is particularly impressive in the dark. Now, the uh, Commerce Creation and Development Director, Cohen Sanders, said... We are pleased that winter f telling can take place this year too. Unfortunately, some adjustments were necessary, but we assume that our visitors will be enchanted by the winter atmosphere in the park as every year. f telling is also celebrating the turn of the year on December 31st, 2020, with a magical light show that visitors can see everywhere in the park. In this way, crowds of people are avoided. There are special tickets for New Year's Eve that can be soon reserved, and you can go and reserve them on ftelling.com. So there we go, a nice Christmas festive winter pleasure um, to look forward to, to take you away those, those COVID blues. Uh, so the warm winter pasture opening in 2020. So a nice area, beautifully lit, attractions open, coasters running, take advice UK. And, um, you know, apart from obviously the wild water ride piranha, uh, the, even the water coaster though, even the water coaster de Ville de Hulada, uh, Devilga Hulada, not sure how it's pronounced, um, but that's running. So that's running until January third, twenty twenty one. So you know, even that's running in this. I mean, to be fair, the Piranha I can get because of course there's a lot of water rides that have been like closed and not been used because of COVID and things like that. But you know, you have to you have to take what you can get. So. Um, it's going to be a good one. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a good looking event. Uh, I've seen clips and photos from past winter events that I've telling over the last few years and, you know, the, the lighting effects and the, the bathe of lighting, shall we say, from the article. Um, yeah, that whole sort of ethos of winter atmosphere is just brilliant, just amazingly beautifully created by Aftelling. And, you know, the park should be really proud of themselves and 
you know, I for one, I'm really glad to see F Telling going through this and to see them, um, you know, bathing the park in these lights and doing this winter event. Fair play to the park for doing that. Bringing in a new show in the Carousel Theatre with the people from Caro. Um, and also with the Akronora show, I'm sure they're going to give that some festive cheer and bring that, bring like a new festive difference to the Akronora show at the end of the day. Uh, so if those of you who are in Holland and are experiencing after telling uh, over the winter period, then enjoy it. Please enjoy it because I'm sure you will. And, uh, and like I said, in the description down below, you can go to the ftelling.com website where you can check out the website uh, for the latest rise and attractions, the latest news on the park. And you can check out the website as well to see your New Year's tickets being reserved soon. So uh, that'll go up and uh, that'll all be available on the ftelling website. But I've, le I've left the ftelling website in the description down below anyway because... Uh, why not check out the website? You know, there might have some rise and attractions that you might want to look into a bit more. So, uh, go and check out our talent's website in the description down below. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this news update on F Telling. Very sad about the expansion plans being put on hold, but the winter event should bring some festive cheer to the Holland Holland holiday spirit. But have a tongue twist that one. Uh, so, thank you very much, guys, uh, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click OK spell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.